The 314E e-learning training approach is a practice-based approach that uses simulations to teach the workflows that students need. We believe that the most effective training has three elements. The first is that the students learn best through examples. We use scenario-based learning that allows students to understand the context of the learning as it relates to their work. By relating their prior knowledge to what they are learning, it increases understanding. Second, hands-on exercises actively engage the student as they immediately apply what they have just learned in a real-world simulation. This increases engagement and the student's satisfaction. Third, repetition, repetition, repetition. By using the same scenario in three progressive and more difficult ways, the learning is transferred to, from the short to the long-term memory of the student, resulting in better retention of the materials when the learner needs to recall what they were taught. Let's take a look at an example of the hands-on exercises using this e-learning demonstration course. The first simulation is a recorded simulation done by an instructor. In this exercise, the student is introduced to the workflow and taught what they need to know to successfully complete the workflow. Notice that it starts off with a scenario. In this scenario, we'll be logging in and adding a new patient named Michael Smith to our system. Click the username field. Type receptionist. Click the password field. Type receptionist. Click the login button. When you hover over the patient slash client menu option, you notice a drop down menu. Click new search. Click the name field. After the demonstration, we'll move into a guided practice. The student will use the same scenario, but in this case, the student will need to input the information that's given. I will input the information for the student, so I'll go ahead and type in receptionist. Now it's telling me that I need to click the password field. Notice when I get to the right place, a hint pops up so that I know that I'm entering the right information. In the password field, I'll type in receptionist. I will click on my login button. And now I'm supposed to click on new search. When I hover over it, it lets me know that I'm in the right place. And now I would go ahead and put in Michael's information. The third simulation is very much like the second one. So the student will be asked to input the information using the same scenario, but notice that my hover is gone. So it doesn't let me know that I'm in the correct place. If I click in the wrong place, I get an incorrect message. So I now need to click in the user field, and then it progresses to the next step. 